Hello, everybody. Today we are going to see test case execution in SAP MM. Five test cases, top five test cases for execution in SAP MM. I'm going to test SAP MM A6. So the first test case I'm going to create, I'm going to execute this. Check whether purchase order is created with the following details. I'm going to create a purchase order with the following details. Okay, let's see whether it is getting executed or not. Go to ME21 here. Purchase order creation. ME21 here. My vendor is this vendor. I'm going to take this vendor. This vendor. Let me take this vendor. That's it. Okay, my purchase organization is HK01. Purchasing new group is triple zero. So my material is this material. I'm going to take this material. My quantity is any quantity. Enter plant. My plant is HK01. Storage location is HK01. HK01. Storage location HK01. Now, save it. Save it. Let's see whether it is getting saved or not. Yes, it's getting saved with the purchase order number double five double zero triple zero five two three. So this case, the test case is passed. It's passed. And let's go to the next test case. So next test case is check whether purchase order is created with the number range thousand to triple nine double nine double nine. No, it's not getting created. The number is this is the number range. This is the number range. Let's take this number range and put this test case as fail. And the actual result is this one. Number range is this one. So this is fail. Let's mark it as fail. Okay. So the next test case, I'm going to the next test case. Okay. To check whether we are able to do goods received in MIGO transaction code with the material document number range 2000 to 2999. Let's see that whether we are able to do goods received with this number range. Go to MIGO transaction code, MIGO. What is my purchase order organization? Uh, purchase order number? This is my purchase order number, which we which I have created earlier. Press enter. Okay, now scroll down. Okay. Item OK, post. So what is the number range? This is the number range. 511 is my number range. So the number, number range should be 2000 to But now this is also failed. The number range is failed. So the number range is this, this is the number range. So let's enter this number range. Okay, this is also failed. Third one. So now to check whether tax code in the I'm going to do vendor invoice. So vendor invoice in the vendor invoice it should be T1. Tax code should be T1. Okay, let's check vendor invoice. Transaction code is MIR. Go to MIRO transaction code. MIRO transaction code. Okay. Enter the invoice date. Now select T1. T1 is 18%. But the but but it is 19.5% is the tax. GST tax is 19.5%. So that is also paid. Paid. Let's mark it as paid. Actual result is. 18%. So fail. 18%. Okay, so fail. And the final test case, I'm going to the final test case to check whether upon saving the vendor invoice, the number range should be 600000 to 6999999. Let's see that also. Okay, let's take the purchase order number from here. Final test case before executing the final test case, let's take the purchase order. I have noted it down. This is my purchase order. Is the part of the disk is right. The disk is okay. Let's go to the 
SAP system enter the purchase order number. Present. Okay. Calculate tax. Okay. Baseline date. Enter the baseline date. Go here. Enter the actual amount. 12980. So it has become balance zero. Now post it. Save. Upon saving it, still contains error message. You see, only output tax is allowed for the account. So this was also failed. T1 also failed. The final one is failed. This was also failed. Because I'm not able to save the Invoice, vendor invoice, so fail. Not able to save the, not able to save the invoice. invoice. Okay, the final one is also fail. Upon five test cases, only one got passed and remaining four has got failed. It will be sent back to the consultant. He has to rectify the error. Thank you.